Giants fans, what is going on? In today's show, we're going to talk about Mike Glennon and his concussion, some trade rumors popping up around Saquon Barkley and why or why not they may trade him. We're also going to touch on Aaron Robinson and Quincy Roche. But first, I want you guys to answer this question. Yesterday, Mike Glennon was diagnosed with a concussion following the game, and it's going to be between him and Jake Fromm this weekend. A lot of you guys in yesterday's reaction video were talking about Jake Fromm, so here's your chance to sound off. Get in the comments for me. Who do you want to start next week against the Chargers? If you want it to be Mike Glennon, go down and type MG. Or if you want it to be Jake Fromm, go down and type JF. New York Giants fans, what is going on? You are watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we have some interesting stuff to dive into in today's show. But first, let's talk about number 26 and Saquon Barkley. Yesterday versus the Miami Dolphins, he was pretty underwhelming. PFF, they graded 37 running backs following week 13 of the 2020-2021 NFL season. And Saquon Barkley, he was ranked as the 35th back. Not a good week for Saquon. Only totaled 55 rushing yards. He did have those two big drops, which I thought were pretty important because they were drive killers. But look, Everyone knows that the Saquon, ba Saquon Barkley experiment hasn't gone too well, so trade rumors are starting to pop up. And if the Giants, if they want to trade him this offseason, they would save $7.2 million in cap space and, and incur a cap hit of zero dollars. Meaning, the Giants, they can trade him and get a lot of salary cap relief. And with way the, the way the Giants roster is constructed heading into next season, they're going to need all the salary cap space they can get. We're going to dive into deeper into this Saquon Barkley stuff, but I want you guys to be early and active in today's show, so go down in the comments and type your votes for me. Should the Giants trade Saquon Barkley this offseason? If you want them to, simple. Go down and type Y, or if you want them to hang on to him, go down and type your N for no. In the 2021 NFL season, Saquon Barkley has not been the Saquon Barkley that the Giants were used to following his rookie year when he was one of the best backs in the NFL. Just 84 rushes for 315 yards, less than four yards per carry. A lot of his runs this season have gone for less than two yards, which is kind of Barkley's MO at this point. One yard, two yards, negative one, negative three, and then he pops one. But same old, same old with Saquon, as I'm getting used to saying, just two TDs on the season. Boomer Esiason, he had some choice words about Saquon Barkley following the game yesterday. He said this, Saquon is a great guy, but it just ain't there. It's almost like he's afraid to get hit on the field. You can see it. Everything is to the outside. I'm not saying he has a lot of room, and I'm not saying he has all pro guys in front of him. But man, I watch running backs, we see them plow into guys running over guys. It is a hard position. It is a physically demanding, psychologically demanding position. You have to be some kind of lunatic to play the position, but you have to play it like a lunatic, especially if you're going to get the ball 15, 20, 15 to 20 times a game. Joe Mixon for the Bengals, he touched the ball 58 times in the past two weeks. Think about that for a second. Could you ever imagine Saquon Barkley getting the ball 58 times in two weeks? I can't, and that's been a guy, Saquon Barkley that is, that has shown that he's not able to be used in that type of capacity and can't handle that type of workload. I'm beginning to lose faith in Saquon Barkley. I understand, trust me guys, I understand that he does not have a good offensive line, and they don't create running lanes for him. But too many times, I'm seeing Saquon Barkley run right into the back of an offensive lineman, and then he tries to bounce it for a big game. Sometimes you gotta take those ugly and dirty one and two yard runs and lower your shoulder and deliver the blow and be, let, be a violent back. That's just not who Saquon Barkley is at that point, and I don't think that fits the New York Giants. Yesterday, Saquon Barkley, he had a chance to put this offense on his back and will them to a victory. No Daniel Jones, no Sterling Shepard, no Kadarius Toney. Three of their biggest playmakers were out. Yesterday was the, was the day and the opportunity for Saquon Barkley to get Giants fans back on his side. But he didn't deliver. He dropped two balls, only 55 yards rushing. He was just not the back that the Giants have been promised by Dave Gettleman since he said he was touched 
by the hand of God. But I'm not sure if Saquon Barkley will ever be the type of running back that can carry the workload like a Joe Mixon or be the face of an offense or carry an offense solely by himself. I want to believe in Saquon Barkley. I want Saquon Barkley to be the running back of the future for the New York Giants. I want this guy to be the focus of this offense, but he hasn't shown me enough for me to believe that, and I know you guys are feeling the same way, so I want you guys to jump in the comments for me. If the Giants were to trade Saquon Barkley, what would his trade value be? If you think it'd be a first-rounder, type one, for a first-round, uh, day one NFL draft pick, or if you think he's worth a second or third-rounder, type two for day two draft pick, or if you think he's worth a fourth or seventh rounder, go down in the comments and type three for third day draft pick. NFL draft, it's right around the corner and the Giants, they have five picks in the top 75 draft picks. So our draft coverage here on New York Giants now will be the best on YouTube around all New York Giants channels. So go down right now and hit that big red button. And I'm trying to catch the Cleveland Browns report. Our Browns channel here at Chat Sports, hosted by my, by my guy Matthew Peterson. Just a couple weeks ago, we were over 700 subscribers down, and now we are just over 200 subscribers down. I want to catch him by the end of the week, so help me out and go, go hit that big red button so the Giants can beat the Browns in the sub department. Jabril Peppers, he tweeted this out this morning, kind of came out of nowhere, a guy that the Giants fans haven't really heard much about since he had that knee injury that knocked him out for the rest of the season, but he said this, just because you've been bumped up to first chair in the orchestra doesn't mean you can compose a sympathy. This is the classic subtweet. Who was Jabril Peppers talking about? Was it Freddie Kitchens saying he's not an offensive coordinator just because he was thrust in that position? Is it Joe Judge, a guy that he doesn't think could be a head coach? Which would be weird because Joe Judge has sung the praises of Jabril Peppers. Is he talking about Xavier McKinney or Julian Love, the guy that has taken the reps of Jabril Peppers since he's gotten hurt? But I want you guys to sound off. Get in the comments for me. Who was Jabril Peppers talking about in that tweet? Let's get all the bad stuff out of the way. I know after a loss, you got to talk about the bad. But I want to touch right now on two players that I have been thoroughly impressed by in the past couple weeks for the New York Giants. First up, Aaron Robinson. He has been playing absolutely great and phenomenal football the past three weeks. The third round draft pick in 2021 for the New York Giants. He missed a lot of time to start the season due to injury. He didn't go through training camp. But now that he's on the field, he has been an instant difference maker. He's been targeted 16 times in the past three games, giving up just seven receptions. He has two pass breakups and has only allowed 80 yards and no touchdowns. He did a really good job yesterday of being physical in the past game and stopping Jalen Waddle when he drew that assignment. He also had two really good plays when he was guarding Durham Smythe and Mike Gusecki. He broke up a touchdown yesterday when he got in Gusecki's face that eventually the ball bounced off his head. But I have really liked what I've seen from Robinson, and I think he's going to be a keeper and a guy that's going to be a versatile player in this Giants secondary. He can play in the slot, and he's also shown the ability to play on the outside. So hats off to Dave Gettleman, because I think Aaron Robinson, he could be a player for the New York Giants for a while, for a while that is. And the holiday season, it is here. And if you're looking to be swaggy for Christmas or just look good when the Giants are losing, this is what you want to get. You don't want to look bad in Gi Giants gear when they lose football games. So go to chatsports.com slash Giants zip and you can get this swaggy quarter zip for $30. It is currently 50% off. It was $60. Now it's $30. And if you order it ASAP, it will get here by Christmas. So if you want a gift for yourself, maybe you really want this, or a loved one, a brother, a sister, or maybe a father-in-law or, or a mother-in-law, go to jetsports.com slash giant zip to get this quarter zip for 30 bucks. One more giant player that I've really been impressed with in the past couple of games is Quincy Roche. He was drafted in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL draft by the Pittsburgh Steelers, but they cut him when they had to trim the roster to 53 players. The Giants, they scooped him off waivers, and he has been a difference maker, and especially in these last five games, he has shown his ability to get after the passer, and I think the Giants, they really got someone special in this guy. In the past five games, he has 212 snaps, two sacks, eight pressures, 22 tackles, and four QB hits. He has really shown that he is going to be able to have a role in the National Football League. I don't know if he'll ever be an every down type of edge rusher, but I definitely think he can be a rotational piece that can get after the passer when his number is called. And I really like what the Giants did in the draft 
especially with Aziz Ojolari, and then signing Quincy Roche. These are two edge rushers that I'm hoping can be foundational pieces for this New York Giants defense for a long time to come. Roche, he's a rookie. Aziz Ojolari, he's a rookie. They have really shown that they are here to stay, and the strides that they've made in the past couple games has been something to watch. Yesterday, Aziz had a sack, and once again, Quincy Roche had a sack. But who has been more impressive, in your opinion, so far this season? If you think it's Quincy, go down and type QR, or if you think it's Aziz, go down and type AZ. One thing to look forward to as a New York Giants fan is the 2022 NFL Draft. Right now, the Giants, they have two top 10 picks, one being their own and one being the Chicago Bears draft pick, which they got when they traded down last year in the NFL Draft, which they eventually drafted Kadarius Toney. Right now, they own the sixth and the seventh pick, the sixth being via the Chicago Bears. So you're going to have an opportunity to draft two difference makers in the top 10, and you need to hit on those picks. But what about the Bears pick? Could it jump into the top five? Could it be a top three pick? They have some tough games remaining on the schedule. This Sunday against the Green Bay Packers, that's going to be tough because it looks like Andy Dalton is once again going to be under center for the Bears. Then you got to play the Minnesota Vikings, a team that just lost to the Detroit Lions. So who knows what's going to happen in that game. It's always tough in the NFC North. Then you play the Seahawks, a team that won last week against the San Francisco 49ers, and it is always tough to beat Russell Wilson. Then you got to play the New York Giants. The Giants don't need to just win that game because you need to win a game. You need to win the game so that the Chicago Bears draft pick will end up being worse. Then they finish off the season against the Minnesota Vikings. I can see the Bears losing every single game the rest of the season, and that would be great for the New York Giants. What's also great, the Giants, they currently have five draft picks in the top 75 in the 2022 NFL Draft. Dave Gettleman most likely isn't going to be the general manager anymore. And whoever the general manager is has to hit on these draft picks if he wants to turn around this Giants organization. You're not going to get five starters with those five picks, but maybe you can get three starters and four people down the road that will be playmakers and difference makers for this Giants organization. The quickest way for the Giants to get back to being a respectable franchise, you got to nail the 2022 NFL draft. With the, first two pick, with the first two picks, the Giants having two first-round picks in the 2022 NFL Draft, what do you want them to do? I personally, I want them to draft two offensive linemen and run it back one more time with Daniel Jones. Get him an adequate offensive line and protect him and let him get in a fair evaluation as the Giants quarterback, and maybe he can be the Giants franchise QB. So my option, I would be typing uh, type choice A because I believe that the Giants need to select two offensive linemen in the first round. But sound off. If you want him to draft two O-linemen, go down and type A. If you want him to draft one O-lineman and one edge rusher, type B. Or if you want him to draft one offensive line, lineman and one best player available, meaning the best player on the board no matter the position, go down and type C. And help me out, guys. I'm trying to get my Twitter followers up, and I only want them to be New York Giants fans. So if you're not a New York Giants fan and you're watching this video, don't follow me. This isn't for you. This is for Giants fans only. But help me out, at Marshall Green underscore. Send me a DM. Give me a follow. Let me know you came from this video, and I might give you a shout-out on the next New York Giants Now.